Let's take a spin around OneDrive. OneDrive is the cloud storage for our Microsoft 365 Apps account. And there's multiple different ways we can access it and different things that we can do with it. So let's take a look. I'm going to go to the Start button because it all starts with going to Settings and Work or School Accounts. So I'm going to choose to access Work or School. You can also find this just by going to Settings and then choosing the Accounts tab as you see here. So what I've done is I've clicked on Access Work or School and then I've clicked Connect and it prompted me for this username and password, which is the username that you see here. Once you're connected here, OneDrive is automatically going to sign you in with that particular login, just like it does with all the Microsoft 365 apps. And it creates what's called a TSR program, a Terminate and Stay Resident program. And it drops right into this location that you see here. There is OneDrive. So I can click on it and I can see some of the different files that are there. I can also choose to open the folder and there is my list of OneDrive files. These are files that I saved into OneDrive as I was creating them using the various Microsoft 365 apps. Now you don't have to just create them with those apps in order to save this. You could use this as cloud storage or cloud backup from any application. Let's look at the hierarchy of OneDrive. You can see OneDrive on the left hand side and I will expand it and you can see a lot of the same folders here that you might end up seeing under this PC and inside the C drive itself. And that's because by default, it's going to want to back up your files from your local drive into OneDrive. Just in case you have any type of computer crash, you can easily recover them. Or if you access your computer using Microsoft 365 credentials, say on another device, then you'll be able to access those files there as well. Now, in my case, I chose not to back up those files at this time, but in the future, I might decide to do so. And that's because I don't have anything here that I'm all that concerned about being shared on other devices. But let's look at how easily we can move or copy data from our local PC into OneDrive. It's as easy as just dragging and dropping. And now, when I click on OneDrive, you can see the financial sample file that I had moved over. And we can go the other direction as well. I can take book one, go to documents, and it moves it over. Or I can right click and I can drag over with my right click, choose documents and choose copy. So now they exist in both places. Let's see now how this relates to Microsoft 365 apps. So if I click on the start button and open up Microsoft Word, then it's going to log me into Word using my credentials from Microsoft 365. I'm going to type, this is a test, and then I'm going to choose File, Save As, and now you can see I've got my browse option, which will take me to my local computer, or I can just choose the default OneDrive location and I can create a new folder or just use an existing one. And I'll just call this one Word Docs. Click OK. Double click on Word Docs. Now I'm going to give this file a name and press Save. Now, instead of being on my local workstation, it's now in OneDrive. So if I go back to File Explorer and I go to OneDrive, you can see Word Docs and you can see this is a test is there. Another interesting thing is that when you save files to OneDrive, it now automatically turns auto save on. Now in older versions of Word, you could turn auto save on or off, but in the latest version of the Word application for Microsoft 365, it will only turn auto save on if you save it to OneDrive. Now just to confirm that this is all being synchronized with the cloud, I can also open up my web browser and I'll go to onedrive.microsoft.com and sign in. And I'll go to my files and take a look. There's my Word Docs folder. 
And there's my this is a test document. And I can do this now on any device I like where I can log into a web browser and take a look at those files or where I can use another computer and then join that worker school account and then they'll automatically be there because it'll log into OneDrive from there. OneDrive is a great place to store documents as well as backup documents into the Azure cloud.